right? Yeah, a lot, of, yeah. a lot of, a lot of guys, you know, they 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 get into uh, into a company just for the uh, sign on bonus, which yeah. is yeah. what is. Do you know? Do you know? What is you got sign on bonus? If you if we do you not have one, we we do not have one. Okay, okay. Uh, you guys have uh, have referral bonuses. All you have to do is stay. Lockout men in the parking lot of loves. Oh, I had the slightest idea where I'm at right now, but I've been at this loves before. I am on my way down to Texas. Yes, sir. Houston, Texas. Home of the chopped and screwed. Texas tatted on my own. Texas tatted on my own. I decided to, while I am here in the parking lot, make another call for you guys. Yay! Yay! Yes, yes, yes. I put on my community page. I said, who you guys want me to call next? Get your suggestions in there. But you know what? I came across a YouTuber's video. Y'all want to know who that YouTuber is? I'll bring him in right now. What's up, truck drivers? Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim, and this video is highly anticipated. Long overdue. I've been getting asked questions for the past three years about how do I become a driver at GMP Trucking? How do I get all home every weekend and still make a comma check? For all your recruiting questions, I'm not so much the guy. I'm a driver. Yes, sir. Trucker Jim from Trucker Jim's Trucking Journeys. He's doing a recruiting video about GMP. And I said to myself, huh, if GMP sounds like a good company to call. They're down in the southeast region. A lot of you guys is in the Florida area. Y'all want to know some companies that's down there that hires out of Florida? Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's get this video started right, shall we? Let's get into the call. GMP Trucking. Yeah. yeah, how you doing today? Good, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Uh, are you a recruiter? I am the onboarding. What can I help you with? You? I'm sorry, you're the who? <laughs> I'm onboarding. <laughs> on, onboarding? Yeah. All right, that's a new term to me. What What is onboarding? Once you go through recruiting, you come to me to be onboarded. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of that before. All right, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, my name's uh, Sean, and uh, I came across uh, a YouTuber's video uh, mm -hmm. that was talking about GMP trucks, trucking. Mm -hmm. And uh, I noticed that you guys are a Southeast regional only company. Is that... Is you guys only do Southeast Regional? Do you guys go outside of uh, Southeast? No, we're we're Southeast only. Southeast only. Okay. Uh huh. So, to hire someone out of the area, say like if somebody wants to come to you guys that's that's live up in the Midwest or the Northeast, mm -hmm. is is that possible? You have to be within fifty or sixty miles of one of our terminals. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, okay. sir. All right, so if I'm interested in moving down to Georgia or something like that, then I will be, yeah. uh, I will be uh, considered. Sure, I tell you what, let me get you to Brandon. Okay. And he can help you more. Okay, just a moment. All right. GMP, Brandon speaking. Hey. Come to you, yes. Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Oh, Hello? okay, we kind of got disconnected there. Okay, yeah, I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. Hey, what's going on, bud? <laughs> what's going on, man? All right, so I came across uh, one of Trucker Jim's uh, video talking about GMP trucking. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I thought uh, I thought I'd do what you guys says and uh, give you guys a call to find out a little bit more about the company. 
So is it uh is, oh. it, is it possible to uh find out a little bit more about the company? Yeah, 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 man, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um what area you live in, but Well, as of right now, I stay up in the in the Midwest, but I am mm -hmm. I am considering moving down to Georgia. So, okay. Okay. Uh hold on. Georgia, Georgia area? Mhm. Mm Yeah, I, I am considering moving down to Georgia. I I asked okay. the young lady that was doing the uh, onboarding, like if I if I decide to uh, move down to Georgia, would I be considered uh, a candidate? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as yeah. as I asked her before, you guys is just you guys just mainly run uh, Southeast Regional. What what are the what are the states that you guys normally run? Um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Alabama, and Tennessee. Okay, okay. So you guys, this you w will you guys go out of out of uh, out of region to to do a load? <clears throat> you said will we go out of that region? Yeah, would you guys go out of region to do a load? Like, let's say no, for no, example, no. I want to go. <laughs> let's say I want to go to Minnesota. Would 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 you guys get a load up to Minnesota? We, yeah, we don't, we wouldn't because we don't have anything up there. Oh, like okay. we just cut. Yeah, we don't even go look for um, contracts or vendors or nothing up there. So we just stay in this area where we at. It okay. just seemed to be the area that we like we like the most. Yeah, it, and it looks like it's more comfortable for drivers to get home every yeah. every week. That's that's it, and that's the main thing why we do it. Um, you know, that's what we was like. Hey, if we eat right here, you no longer than using no further than a day and a half away. You know. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's the purpose of that. Yes. Do sir. you do you guys offer leasing there? We do. Oh, okay. Can you uh can can you go in go into a little bit of detail about that because I'm I probably might be interested in uh in lease. Is it is it lease purchase or just leasing the truck? Lease purchase. Oh, okay. So I I'm able to uh lease to own. Is it a walk away lease? Yep. Oh, okay. So I so at any time, at any time, I, you know, if it doesn't work out for me, I could just pretty much up and up and go. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what's the uh, what's the options on leasing? Leasing with you guys? What's the uh, CPM? <clears throat> what's you know? Yeah. Okay. Let me get you to someone who's a little bit because I do the company drivers. Oh, okay. that, that right there is gonna be more on the other side. Let me just hold on one. But well, you, you, you know what? You uh, you know what? You know what? I I could talk company. I mean, because I, I okay. figured I I figured you know before I jump into the before I jump into the truck, I would probably want to, you know, do the company side first to see if I can get a feel for the company, and then okay, okay. and then I could jump into. You know, once I'm filling the company, then I could just jump right into leasing. I mean, I, I mean, that's what I would would probably do because you know, leasing, you know, jumping, jumping right into a lease, and let's say you already said it's a walkaway lease, but still, you know, it's probably, you know, but yeah, let's talk about the company though. Uh, what, what you okay. guys, uh, what's the what's the CPM? What's what's the what's the start? Now let me ask you this. Because okay. a lot of companies, they like to inflate the starting CPM with incentives. What is the starting CPM out the gate? Um, how much experience? Four years. How, you say 40 years? No, four. <laughs> I wish. Four. <laughs> um, it, it would be uh, 52 cent a mile. Oh, 52 for cent a mile to start? Mm -hmm. That's that's my starting in the door? Well, well that's, as of right now, that's the top pay, fifty-two cent a mile. Oh, okay, okay, and that's fifty-two cent a mile without incentives. No incentives. If you get over twenty-five hundred miles a week, then then it goes up three cent. Oh, okay, okay. How much? Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying yes, sir. Oh, okay. What what would be the uh, what would be the average amount of miles I can get? Because uh, you know really we could start we could, we could start at fifty-two right. cent, but the miles is going to have to do the yeah, damn thing. No. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. Um, realistic mileage expectations is going to be anywhere between 2,100 to 2,700 miles. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's the um, what's the equipment like? 
Um, what's uh, I noticed? Uh, I, I noticed on some of Trucker Jim's videos that you guys have internationals and KWs now, or or do you guys have uh, KWs? What's what's the equivalent? Um, we have uh, Freightliner internationals and cameras. Okay, all of them. Uh, all of them automatics. Uh, we have both. We have some automatics and some manuals. Okay. If you request an automatic, we can get that for you, though. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. What's the amenities inside of the trucks? Was was? Uh, it 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 varies, but most of them come with uh, APU. Some come with fridges. Um, it just you know, you know, you can have we have a navigation to ask for it to be turned on in there, but you know, it's pretty it's pretty much a you know, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else besides that in there. No, it's pretty much it, man. Some of them have fridges, some of them don't. It's pretty much, you know, they're newer trucks, but it's not like, it's not a lot of bells and whistles, but they are the newer trucks. Okay, okay. So, I'm on the website right now, and I'm, I'm looking at some of the qualifications. Um, okay. It says no tickets within the last two years, no roller accidents. But as I'm looking at these qualifications right here, I got... Uh, a, a a quick question on that. Um, some companies look at uh, look at more um, to get denied with uh, with with companies, and I want to see if you guys do the same thing. What's your what's your policies on job jumping? Like, if a if a driver has uh, more than eight driving jobs in a year would you guys would you guys still consider that person um they would look at it but you know that's going to be it's a hit or miss thing most of the time you know they see that and it depends on why why too you know what i'm saying but yeah like if i've seen that you know me and myself i'd probably just say okay let's find out can we get some details about it mm -hmm. you know why and what happened and, you know but sometimes we do sometimes we don't when it comes to those just depend on the reasons why because if it's saying, hey, man, well, you know, some things that I can't help. You say, hey, man, I don't like my dispatchers. I've had bad dispatchers in all my places. I right. can't guarantee that the dispatcher here would be someone that you and you may get along with. But if you say, hey, man, I'm just wanted to um, get more home time. This is why I want to be home. I can say, okay, that's something I can genuinely help with. Okay. So it just depends. But, you know, um, yeah, that is a lot of jobs. I'm not going to fake it. Yeah, not gonna fake me. yeah a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of guys, you know, they, they, they get into – uh, into a company just for the uh, sign-on bonus, which yeah. is yeah. what is you, teach his own, teach his own. What is you got sign-on bonus? If you if we do you not have. have one, we we do not have one. Okay, okay. Uh, you guys have uh, have referral bonuses for we people? do have a referral bonus. Okay. Uh, so orientation, what's uh, what what's, what all what all proceeds in the orientation? And do we get paid for that? Our attention, you do get paid. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> it's only two days, and it's held in Gaston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Only two days, uh, and it's $50 a day. Plus, we put you up in a hotel. Okay. We pay for the hotel, and we provide um, lunch. The hotel provides breakfast. All right. And it's uh, a real breakfast. It's not like a bagel type thing. It's a real breakfast. Okay. What about uh what about the hotel itself? Uh am I in a room by myself or do I gotta share? I got by yourself. Oh, okay. By yourself. Okay. And you say the two you say the two days, uh the two days orientation. Are now let me ask you a question. Let's say if I do decide to move down to Georgia, would I would you guys give me a way up to the uh up to the orientation, or do I gotta find yeah. my way up there? Yeah, now if you got to Georgia, we give we give you we get you here. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, again, uh, to jump back on the on the uh, on on the denial, uh, what what you guys might deny uh, a driver's okay. application. Um, okay. child support suspensions. Would you know a lot of drivers do have child supports? Do you guys look at that? No, I mean, <clears throat> we'd like to say each situation is different, but as long as it's not no big, huge gap in it, you know, we understand it happens, you know, it just depends, you know, but we ha we haven't um, just turned one down for just that alone now. Now, see, now if you add one thing, see, that's the thing, so that's what I said, each application is different. Now, if you add with that together with that and then one more thing, that's, you know, it's like, you see what I'm saying? Oh, okay. 
So yeah, for for pre for pre-employment, uh, is it urine sam is it urine or is it hair yeah, follicles or urine. both? Just urine. Oh, just, just urine. urine. All right. Is there an agility test, something like that? Do I gotta mm -hmm. like see if I can get inside the truck or inside the trailer or duck rock up under the trailer? No, nah, I gotta nah, do nah, all nah. of that. Nah. Okay. Uh, what about a what about a what about a road test? No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, you guys. Now this is now this is just a general question, but do you got do you guys hire out of a uh, Hire drivers straight out of trucking school, um, or do you gotta did. have, or do you gotta we have uh, experience? We will hire them right out of school if they're in the right area, so we can uh, get them training. All right, you guys offer uh, pay advances because you know if I come on board, I'm going to be broke. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay, okay. Per diem, is it offered or is it mandatory? Um, it's mandatory. Oh, it's mandatory. So out of that fifty-two cent, what's the per diem? Um, let's see how it. Uh, what the per the per diem is? It won't be like a cent added to it. Like you're gonna get your fifty-two cent per mile. Right. 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 Okay. Then they're gonna take out the per diem. They're gonna take do you take your taxes out of right. the money that you would add. Then they're gonna add the per diem back into it. I right. Bet. Right. But how how much? How much on the per diem that they take? Like eleven cent, fourteen. No, no, no. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't do the cent and stuff like that. It's a, it's per so much per day instead of cent. It's so so much per day. Same. I think it's you have to stay out. If you stay out three days in a row, then it's it's one amount. Stay out four days in a row, it's another amount. But oh. it could be a, yeah, yeah. So it's like forty forty dollars for two days, and if it's good to your third day. And then it's seventy dollars because you get more because when you stay out three days, you take and get a host amount for staying. Hey, this is how much it would cost for them to stay in a hotel for that day. Okay, okay. So uh, yeah, so it adds back in that way. Yeah. Benefits. Uh, we have Blue Cross. I mean, so we have Cigna Insurance and four hundred one k that matches up to four percent. Okay, okay. What about um? What about scales and tolls? Do you guys reimburse for that? Yeah, but we we have pre passes. Okay. Pre -passes. Now, being that you guys is uh like predominantly southeast, will I be able to take my truck home, or do I got to leave it at the terminal? It has to be left at the terminal. Oh, it has yes, to. Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Unless it's just, I mean, sometimes we approve for other ways, but most of the time we want the drivers to be within uh forty five to fifty minutes away from terminal, mm -hmm. so we can do that. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Every weekend, I get to go home if I Unless if I you want. Say you don't want to. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, it sounds interesting, man. I mean, that's that's probably about much I uh, about much information I need to know on the on the on the company side. And unless you got some, unless you got some more information that you hey. like to that you like to throw at me. No, no, I think I think you pretty much got it, man. You know, like I said, you know, we um got assigned equipment. We get we paid attention time as well. Mm -hmm. Twelve fifty the first hour, fifteen dollars every hour after that. Uh, home weekly, you know. Okay. Um, what no about touch rate. What about um, what about layovers and how often do those do that happen? Yeah, yeah, we do that. Do we take care of that too? Okay. If you have a layover, yeah, take care of that too. Yes, sir. What about what about vacation? Vacation and holiday pay. Do you guys have that? Yes, sir. We do have vacation and holiday pay. Yes, sir. Now let me ask you this: When do when do it start? Because some companies, like you know, if I come if if I come in and let's say the first holiday is what Labor Day or is it Memorial mm -hmm. Day? No, Labor Day is the Labor Day is the next major holiday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I come in now, would I get the Labor Day holiday? Or uh, would it be uh, after the Labor Day? After. So it'd be the, it'd be the Thanksgiving. It'd be the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now, do we get paid all holidays, or is it mm -hmm. somehow? Oh, okay. You gotta get paid all. Of them. All, all right. What about hazmat? Um, I don't have mine, but would you guys uh, pay for it if I decide to get it? Mm-hmm. Reimburse. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we were in Bristol Hatch. Now, let me check and double check and make sure, brother, because I know we, we um, if you get it, I want to say we do reimburse for it because we require that you have it after six, get it within six months of uh, joining. Okay, okay. What about uh, what about the uh, mouse? How's the mouse calculated? How's uh, Randy McNally? Randy uh, McNally Rand, mouse. Randy yeah. McNally mileage. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Um, is there any is there any force dispatch there? I mean, um, such. I I would assume it is because of yeah. I mean, for company drivers, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can I can I bring my uh, pet with me or a rider with me? Uh, you can bring a rider, but we have a no pet policy. You can't no pet policies. Yes, sir. Man, that's gonna that's gonna hurt for yeah, some. Yeah, those over the age of thirteen. Yeah, that's that pet policy gonna hurt for some of us, man. You know, we get so used to mm-hmm. our you know our dogs, man. You know, we gotta bring our we gotta bring our friends with us. No, I'm just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Well, um. All right. Well, cool. Uh, the uh, other gentleman for the lease side is he? Is he available so I can I can chop it up with him right quick? Yeah. One moment. All right. GNC trucking. This is Greg. Hey, Greg. How's it going, man? Going all right. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I just got finished talking to Brandon. I think. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, he was telling me a little bit about a uh, little bit about the company side, uh, the company driver side, but I'm also interested in the lease option side as well. So he told me you're the man to talk to. Okay, yeah, I'll be able to help you out with that. Uh, where are you located? All right. Well, right now I am in Ohio, but I'm thinking or making the plans to move down to Georgia. So you know, after watching Trucker Jim's video about uh gmb trucking uh that's what you know kind of inspired me to give you guys a call um so leasing what's uh what, what's the now i think brandon told me it, it is a walk away lease can you go into detail about that well i mean it's going to be more or less depending on who you get the truck from but as far as that goes like if you contract on with us and decide it's not one for you, then you can go take the truck elsewhere. Oh, okay. But the, so the so it's an outside leasing company that I'll be going through for the for the truck, not through you guys. Yeah, and now the other one, uh, like if you lease a truck through like one of our trucks, right? Uh, which there's a currently like a 28 person waiting list on that one right now. Wow. So it'd be a while before you got one of them. Uh, with those, I think they are walk away. We just, you know, they just go back to us. Then. Okay. What's what? The ones, I mean, whatever, whatever truck you get it, wherever you get it from, that's between you and them. What you do to pay for it, if you don't want to stay on the GMP. Okay. So you say it's a twenty-eight guy yeah, waiting sure. list for for you guys lease? What's what? Wow. What's why so many? What's what's so great about it? <laughs> hip, 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 put me on, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of folks coming on wanting to do lease purchase, and that just happens to be the, the amount that's on the list at the moment. Wow. Um, majority of them are working for the company, I take it? I mean, driving Every company man, side? All of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's so why I told them. not bringing on anybody outside to do that. Yeah, that's why I asked. Pretty much. Yeah, that's why I asked Brandon. I told him that, you know, before I find out uh, about the lease and I would want to find out about the company because if if the company don't work for me, then there won't be no point in jumping into a lease truck right off the rip. But I still yeah, want to know, not, you know, I still want to well, know about it, though. Yeah, we're not going to bring anybody on that isn't already waiting on a truck. Give them a truck ahead of somebody else either. That's not right to do. Right. What's... What's the what's the CPM uh, for the lease? Well, I mean, owner operators, depending on if you're doing dry van or containers, dry vans at 95 cents a mile plus fuel surcharge, mm-hmm. loaded and empty, uh, and there's weekly incentives that get tacked onto that depending on the mileage that you're running. Mm-hmm. So if you're running over 2,550 miles, it's another two cents. If you're running over 2,750, it's another two cents. If you're running mm-hmm. over 3,000, it's another two cents. Uh, there's quarterly incentives you can put on that hazmat's extra, all that type of stuff. So, uh, and then uh, containers are at a dollar ten per mile plus fuel surcharge. Uh, 
there's hazmat pay if you run hazmat there's uh, pay based on length if it's over 300 miles one way it's another 100 it's, if it's over 360 one way it's another 200 and it's for containers okay okay so as far as being a lease driver would I would I still be able to take advantage of of the benefits of a company driver no because you're a contractor okay now as far as dispatching goes do, do am I provided a, a, a fleet manager or can I or can I choose my old loads from a load board no load board you'd be a, a yeah, if you were a load board, then you'd come on as a uh, kind of like a carrier. It's different. Uh, you basically, your loads are sent to you through dispatch. Okay. Now, as far as dispatch goes, can we can we still uh, deny the loads if we feel that the load is not relevant? I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but at the same time, they're only going to be able to offer you what they've got. So. Okay. So, okay. like for example, the drive-in runs. They're primarily running throughout the southeast, and they're running loads going to Laredo, Texas, picking up loads coming back. So, if you run a load out there and they give you a dispatch going to Atlanta or Charleston, and you're like, I don't want to do that. But it's that or you don't have anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they may be limited on what they've got to offer you when you get a, some of the. What's the cost of the truck every week through you guys? Yeah. Uh, it depends on which truck you would get, I would say, but I don't have any info on what the weekly cost for that would be. I haven't actually had one come out in so long, I don't know what it, what it would cost. Uh, I guess I guess you can't I guess you can't give me a ballpark. <laughs> no, because I don't I don't even have that info. Oh, okay, okay. Um, how long how long is the lease, by the way? Uh, again, that's info I don't have. That's contractor and doing the lease part that's nothing that I actually handle uh, and I'm going to get some info on that this week actually okay. because there's a lot more of that coming up so I should have it by Wednesday I'm supposed to meet with them then now as far as the as far as the upkeep of the truck would you, will you guys uh, do the upkeep on the truck or is that my, is that my responsibility during the lease period well, I mean, the maintenance on the truck is going to be pretty much up to you unless you're involved in the maintenance program. Okay. Uh, most of the trucks have a maintenance program on them. If you get the truck through us, it's required. Um, uh, if you basically bring on your own truck, you can choose to do that or not. But, I mean, no, it's not like a company position. We're not paying for the maintenance on the truck. It doesn't belong to us. Okay. Well, what a, that, that's what I'm saying. What, a, what about through you guys? That's what I'm saying. If I'm leasing through GMP... Yeah, there's a maintenance program you can get involved with, which is uh, seven cents a mile, and then there's 50 a week deducted for escrow, up to 1,200 if you're getting it through us, uh, and it's tw it's up to 2,400 if you're if you don't get the truck through us. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, lots of good information today. Lots of good information. Um. Damn, I meant to ask uh, Brandon. Do you guys, uh, what, what's your guys' policies on felons? Uh, you can't have any in the last 10 years, and no more than one in a lifetime. There are different variants on what you guys look at as far as, um, you know, what, what y'all look, look at, like, felonies for guys that, like, got, like, drug charges or... or uh, no, it's pretty plain as far as that goes. Can't have any felonies in the last 10 years and no more than one in total lifetime. Okay. All right. Well, what's your name again? My name's Greg Deal. Greg, thank you very much, yeah. man. I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, it's some good information. Uh, I will definitely take this information back to my Facebook group and let them know that I, uh, that I chopped it up with you guys. But uh, I do appreciate the time, man. Thank you, thank you very much. And, um, and uh, I guess uh, you will be the guy to talk to when, uh, you know, if, you know, once my number comes up <laughs> for, le <laughs> for leasing. Exactly. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, uh, a moment ago you were asking about the, the, like the, the felony background stuff. Yes. Was there something on the background? That 
Uh, no, no, no. That's just a general question that I'm asking. Okay. That's all. Okay. Um, it was a. It's a lot of. You know, a lot of companies would deny would deny drivers for you know whatever reason. I you know I asked Brandon uh, about a few of them. Uh, you know, um, job jumping. You know, child support suspensions. Uh, yeah. You know, seat belt or handheld uh, device yeah, tickets. Pretty, uh, yeah, exactly. If you got a pretty unstable work history, uh, that's going to be taken into consideration. Because I mean, really, we have to look at it from the standpoint of, you know, if you've held seven, eight jobs in the last three years, right? It's going to tell us that you're going to stay here either. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then obviously, if you're, you know, the heavy weight and fines that come on with. Um, you know, a ticket involved with handheld devices while driving a commercial motor vehicle, then yeah, if you got terminated or ticketed for that recently, then that could possibly disqualify you. Okay. Um, reckless, careless driving could, improper erratic lane change, uh, following right. too close, any of those could be accident causers and could definitely disqualify you. Um, okay. Same thing with ticketed accidents, rollovers, that type of stuff. Okay. Okay. And you you was talking about the uh, about the tickets and everything, but what about what about drivers that do that has child support? Do you guys look at that as well? I mean, run into that a lot in the industry. So some guys will have them, some guys uh, don't, and some guys have had issues with it in the past. That's the kind of thing that I mean, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that they've got it set up to where it's automatically deducted. But if it's something that you know, if you got if you're constantly being suspended or, or if you've gotten tickets while your license was suspended for that kind of thing, then it, that could possibly impair you, but majority of the time it won't. No, oh, it's okay. not what I've seen so far. All right, all right. Well, brother man, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You know, there's some good information. Like I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm not only asking for myself, but I'm asking for uh, a community of drivers uh, you know, because I'm in a Facebook group and everything too. So the information gotcha. that I got from you guys today, I will definitely take it back. And uh, and shout out to uh, Trucker Jim. <laughs> yeah, right. he he uh, promotes you guys real heavy. <laughs> yeah, he does good. He does good. He puts together some pretty good videos. The content's really good, and you know, he's not saying anything that ain't true. So there you have it. G and P Trucking down in South Carolina, Columbia, South Columbia. I don't know, but there you have it. What do you guys think of that call? I got information for you guys on the company side and on the lease side. Now the lease, I'm not sure as far as leasing goes there but but what do you guys think it's it's all about you guys it's not about me as far as you know with leasing goes you know what i'm saying if you guys is interested in leasing with gmp definitely check them out but the company side though what do you guys think of that 52 cent per mile what do you think about the per diem i mean the party he said the per diem wasn't even uh wasn't even cent base so what do you guys think of that what do you guys think of Trucker Jim? You know what I'm saying? He been with the company for three years, so there is about three years worth of content from, uh, from GMP Trucking. What do you guys think of all of that? And what do you guys think of the video? As I said before, if you guys interested in GMP Trucking, give them a call. Talk to Brandon and, man, I forgot the other guy's name, but talk to Brandon. But I gotta let you know, if you're thinking about going lease, there is a 28-man waiting list right now. And until next time, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Make sure that you comment, you subscribe, and you hit the bell. Damn, I had to cough right there. Hit the bell, all right? If you guys want to know anything about any of these trucking companies out here, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Make sure you send me a little bit of background about the company as well so that I can find out for you guys. If you have any questions, questions, 
that you want to know about these companies, definitely leave it in the comments below. And I would ask them for you. I cater this to you guys. It's not about me. It's about you guys, all right? All right, that's it. That's it. I'm done. You guys come back for another episode. I will post in the community post on YouTube to find out who you guys want to call next. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!